This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. We're live on SABC3. Now, I'm excited because I'm in the kitchen with the healthiest person ever, Andrea. <laughs> Hi, Welcome to the show, Battle Health Expert. I'm stirring it. Ek verboot hier so, ek roer lekker hier so. What's in this pot already? Well, um, we're cooking a Brazilian pot pie. Yeah. So it's weekend, we're going to watch some soccer. Yes. And um, we are also looking at healthy eating. And I always say a pie isn't necessarily the healthiest food item, but it, it all depends on what ingredients you put in it. But now this is the thing, if you're building a healthier home, healthy eating over the weekend is good for us. What else can we add to our healthy eating? I see you've got some snacks here as well. Yes, the Vital Mini Rice Cakes, in fact, um, are ideal for snacking over the weekend because they're super healthy. You can dip them in some cottage cheese and um, we've actually packed them into a nice snug ah. um, smaller pack for the 30 grams. So that it can fit into your lunchbox and into your handbag. So it's the same weight, just a different size. I get it. Yes, I get it. Yes. I see. Just Less a packaging. Snack. Less yeah. packaging, better for the environment. What is good for my tummy in this kitchen? Okay, so there's lots of good things going on here. The peppers and onions that you are um, sauteing there in the pan is going to go into this pot pie mm -hmm. along with chicken, so we can stir that in. Okay, so, so we're stirring some chicken bits in. And your peppers, it's just a, a, a whole bunch. I know you like colour in your food. Oh, yes. So I see you've added every possible colour pepper. <laughs> The, the colour is um, also linked to nutrition. Right, right, right. Um, so, obviously, the wider the variety of coloured vegetables, the more nutrients are in there. And I like the fact that you've... Uh, I will get to that now, because yes, I yes. want to know what you're using for cream. Okay, okay. so in goes some... Some corn. Right. And the chicken, obviously, was pre-cooked. It's, it's roast chicken. Right, right, right. So it's a nice idea also for leftover chicken. Ah. Which I don't know in whose house that ever happens because I normally finish the chicken, but anyway. There's never leftovers in my house. So, <laughs> okay, what goes in now? So, some spices and some garlic. And I guess it's to your own preference. I mean, you can put anything in, really. Huh? That's right, yes. And some um, thyme. Thyme is very important. It gives a lovely flavour to this dish. Which, which of these spices that you just put in makes us feel warm? Like when we're watching TV and we want to be all snug. Well, the, the chilli definitely does. Ah, okay. And also some black pepper. You know what I just thought of? You know what we should have had here? Some of that vital soy sauce. Yeah, that, that will always in. go in there, yes. But we've okay. got a little a pinch of salt. You see, the chicken right. is already cooked so there. Yeah, so I mean, I can turn it down already. Can turn it down now. I can feel that it's quite heaty there. All so right. we can turn it down completely. Okay, so we turn it down. And I mean, go. you literally just saute it in here. What's the last ingredient that you're putting the in there? The last ingredient I'm going to add in is the cottage cheese, just to bind everything. Right. And then that's going to go into the Philo Phase 3 case. You know what I'm asking because um, I just travelled and I saw how in Turkey they use um, yogurt in basically everything and it's such a better option than just using a, a cream or fat. Definitely. So, I mean, it's nice that you're also using a replacement and you know, oh, getting definitely. our healthy groove on here. I always have cottage cheese and yogurt in my um, um, Fridge, fridge, yeah, because it can be used in sauces and recipes like this. Okay, okay. so there goes our pie. What did you use? What's what is this? So for pies, normally you, you'll use a, a pastry, but this is a phyllo pastry, which is thinner. Yeah. So the amount of fat and starch that you'll consume is less. Mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna try. This is a very hot pot here. Yeah. I, 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 I'm looking okay. for another ladle, I've but I think let's bring solution. it closer. All go. right. So Should I mean, how long does in? this stay in the the, the oven for? Um, Look, the, the filling is already cooked. Right. So, um, what needs to bake, obviously, the pastry. So, you put it in a preheated oven right. at 180 degrees Celsius. And um, you bake it until it's golden brown. Mm -hmm. So, it takes about um, 20 minutes, depending on your oven. So, so until you can see it until you nice can see it crispy. looking brown. Okay, yes. well, our keyword for this morning is vital. Vital to 3378. That's vital to 3378. Our SMSs are charged at 150, but you get a link to the recipe and uh, you can click on that link to recreate this recipe at home and also have some snug weekend food. While I'm dishing this out with the smallest ladle ever, <laughs> we're going to take a look at how we got to this point. Brush phyllo with olive oil, then layer in a round cake tin. Saute peppers and garlic until soft. Add cayenne and thyme. Stir in the chicken and the corn. Remove from the heat, then stir in the cottage cheese and season to taste. Place the filling into the pastry case, then top with two more sheets of pastry. Fold in the pastry edges, then brush top of the pie with olive oil. Bake at 180 degrees until golden. For the full recipe, visit the Expresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword VITAL to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. 
SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. A keyword is vital, vital to 33728, and you can recreate this at home. Also, with some lovely pictures on our Expresso Facebook page so that you can see what it's all about. You're painting away, Andrea. What yes. are you doing? So, this is a the topping of the pie here. Um, I've just painted a little bit of oil on the ah, follow is that pastry. How you do it. You to tuck give it, it in a little there, bit of hot. And then you just fold it over. You mark so a clean sock to keep this pie. Oh, look now. Yeah, quite no down. And this goes into the preheated oven. You just press it down that okay and whoops, mm. this goes into the, the preheated, preheated oven. oven and then we have our finished products this is beautiful okay so you can make this at home our keyword again is vital to three three seven two eight and you can recreate this at home so the reason we look like this I mean I'm not this is not an oven glove this is my Audrey <laughs> I've got my Audrey Hepburn on here because we're celebrating the Durban July but there's other things happening on the show as well from our healthy eating Andrea we're going to how to get our moving on we've got a moving expert in our studio you went over to you Trust Vital for your family's health.